I am Rain Thomas, and this is my second thousandth act. At 4.11 p.m. on Friday, April 29th, 2011, I received a call from my doctor telling me that I had breast cancer. Yes, I was shocked. I never smoked, I didn't drink, I didn't do drugs, and it certainly did not run in my family. I took good care of myself. What was she talking about? Once I hung up the phone and pulled my thoughts together, I called my husband and a few of my best friends to tell them what I just heard. They too were shocked, but I assured them that I was going to be just fine. Armed with the information I just received from my doctor, I headed out to a wonderful party because I knew I was going to fast track and get that thing out of my body. Monday, May 2nd at 7 a.m., I was in my doctor's office looking at that thing in my films, as well as a laundry list of tests that I needed, places I needed to go get them, and other doctor's appointments that my breast surgeon said needed to be done in a timely fashion. She asked when I would like to have my lumpectomy surgery. A-S-A-P. She said she could do it on Wednesday, May 4th, if I got the laundry list completed. For two long, short days, I went around numbly, getting that list checked off. <sighs> Wednesday, May 4th at 7.45 a.m., my friend drove me to the hospital so I could get that thing out of my body, and I wasn't nervous or afraid because I knew I was going to be just fine. I have always been someone who believes that faith and prayer takes care of all things, and this was no exception. I was being treated by some of the top doctors in the country, so I packed on my humor, and after a chorus of Billy Joel's Piano Man in the operating room, I was under my doctor's spell of darkness. My friends all know me as an experienced junkie, fun queen, and the prune whisperer. And yes, if you'd like to know my prune whispering survivor skills, you can go to prunes, the fruit, P-R-U-N-E-S, aresexy.com. I hear you laughing out there. <laughs> this was definitely a time to keep up that image. So there I was in Arizona, staying with a family I'd only known for six months, my hubby in Las Vegas where we live, holding down the fort, and me starting another unknown journey. Let me say that in a weird and wacky sort of way, I enjoyed the journey. No, I would never, ever want to hear that C word again. But during my time in Arizona, I made a lifetime of friends, explored tons of places, ate with anybody I met, so I gained 11 pounds, and became an inspiration to my medical teams so that I ended up on billboards all over Arizona because they were amazed. And I'm amazed at the things God does for me and the people he places in my life to make sure I continue to walk in my purpose of blessing others and accepting their blessings. As a volunteer for many causes, including cancer, for over 38 years, I know the power of staying positive and being around positive people and, of course, laughter. My works inspire others, and it continues through my singing, my healmagazine.org, HEAL stands for Health, Education, and Laughter, along with my partnerships that have allowed us to create an all-female media network, tigotv.com, so that anyone and everyone around the globe can see that life goes on, and you should too. On July 15, 2016, I will be my five-year cancer-free journey mark, and I will be celebrating my doctors and their teams and all of those who supported me with their positive messages, funny jokes, great smiles, all of it through my battle. Here's to honoring some of the best of the best. Courtney Henderson, Dr. Michael Drury, Dr. Jennifer O'Neill and her team, Dr. Linda Greer and John C. Lincoln and their team, Paula Quadels Miller, Dr. Robert Kusky and his team, Margie Snyder, Dr. James Foltz and his team, Dr. Stephen Dietz for taking me in their home, 
Cherie Phillips for taking me in your home, Dr. Cato, Dr. Robert Kelly, the loving team of Editha House in Arizona. So as I close out my story today, I'd like to leave you with the song in your heart because I want you to know and I want you to remember that there is always a reason for you to start your second thousandth act no matter what you're going through. So please close your eyes and just take in this song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, Thank you.